Hello guys, I'm MJ, I'm DT. Tonight we are, are here at my friend Paul Davison's place uh, in downtown Austin, and we are having um, just some good comfort food. I am making chicken pot pie, and uh, I'm glad y'all could join us. And that's my favorite, so let's dig in. Yes. All right guys, so here I did two um, carrots. I did two stalks of celery and half of an onion. And garlic. I'm going to start off by sauteing the carrots, celery, and onion first. Um, and towards the last uh, couple of minutes of the sauteing, I will add in the garlic just because it burns quickly. Well, this smells, if y'all could smell this, it smells really, really good. I love the way sauteed onion and celery and carrots, it just it smells amazing. It's like you're in your grandma's kitchen. Now it can smell. Oh, that smells good. Mm. Mm. Oh wow, yeah, I can really smell it. You the can smell it now, now, right? And then I just added the rosemary and the thyme. Oh, okay. So I did two um, chicken breasts and I just boiled them for with a little bit of salt, not very much. So this is what I will add in to my Go carrots ahead. and um, celery, onion, garlic, thyme, and rosemary. A lot of people, they shred their chicken. I don't shred mine. I like to I like everything chewed up when you're eating pot pie. I think it should be hearty. And I don't like the way sh shredded chicken feels like when in the pot pie, it's like stringy. Makes it tough. Yeah. I don't like that. I'm gonna add in some, I'm gonna add in about a teaspoon of black pepper. Well, but. Oh man. Good? That's good. Tastes really good. That's so delicious. You wanna try it, you too? flavor and it's juicy. Mm -hmm. really good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Nice job. Well done. So now to this, I will add two tablespoons of flour. We're not browning it. We just want to get it really incorpor well incorporated with the veggies in the chicken. This was this is gonna be our base for the for the for the gravy. This I am going to add, um, we're going to do a cup and a half of chicken stock. We will go, let this simmer for about 15 minutes, just so it gets nice and, and, and it thickens. Let that go. 
and we will get to working on our pastry, our crust. It's very creamy. It's good on salt. It's that burst yeah. of flavor. It's incredible. Yeah. It tastes good. Let's have a pull. I'm going to come over there for the drill. Yeah. It don't burn my mouth. Right. <laughs> oh, I was only joking. <laughs> Just do it on the edge. And it, and it, it, it's all hot. Though. This is bubbly. You can, you can taste it right now. You don't have to blow on it. No, I'm kidding. Mmm. <laughs> this so tastes good. This delicious. is good on salt now, huh? Yeah, much better. I don't like to put too much salt because I, like when I cook, because I like for people to add their own. I just put enough to taste. Yeah, much better. That looks nice and creamy. I'm just gonna let it go for another five minutes and then I'm gonna turn this off and let it cool before adding it to our crust or pastry. Now at this point is when I will add in my peas and I will remove this from um, the heat. And frozen peas here. I like the frozen peas. They just don't put canned peas. Though that, that's mush. Uh, the frozen pea, uh, peas work fabulous in this. I love the peas. Do you like peas? Paul, do you like peas? Oh yeah, and you can even, it's interesting because with peas, or, you can mash the peas up, put it, add in, you know, your flavoring, some garlic, some spice, whatever you want and eat it like a dip. It's almost like a, like a hummus, but it's peas, it's mashed up peas. That's good. Yeah. So guys, I, I pre-made this first. Um, this is my pastry for a chicken pot pie. So I had already pre-made this just because it needs to chill a while. And um, But this is um, two sticks of butter and two cups of flour, two tablespoons of vodka, and six tablespoons of cold water. Um, I use unsalted butter, and then I added um, about a teaspoon of salt to this mixture. So. Cold. And this is what you want to see. You, when you make crust, you want to make sure that you see uh, little pats of butter throughout the, your crust because that's what's going to get you a nice flaky crust. When this bakes, those little uh, butter, these little pats of butter will burst and it creates moisture. And um, so that's what you want. Is this similar to a pie crust? Yeah, it's a pie crust. The only thing I did not add to this is the sugar. So I'm going to go ahead and roll this out. Oh, I made this loaf of bread the other night. I didn't send you the picture. We almost, we ate half of that the same night. It was so good. Is there a cover to this or just the bottom? There's, I'm gonna do a double. So I'm gonna do a bottom um, crust and I'm gonna, I am going to do a top crust. All out of that one. All out of this. Mm -hmm. Now you could cut this in half so that you have two halves, one for the bottom, one for the top, but Hey, I'm doing it my way, but whenever you do yours, if that works for you, you can do it that way. I'm going to preheat my oven to 350. Now, I did want to mention, guys, that if you ever want me to, if you're in the Austin area, or if you're not in the Austin area, if you let me know ahead of time and want me to come cook in your kitchen and make you something special or dinner or whatever you'd like, a birthday or something. You can actually, we're going to have a button on eatupfirst.com um, that you would go to and you would book it and it would let us know and then we'd make the preparations to show up to your place and make you dinner for a fee. It'll be reasonable. 
So this is where I want the, I want it about half an inch on this pastry I'm doing. I'm just rolling it out. So do they make a bigger uh, cutting board to, like a pastry board that's bigger? Oh yeah, they have, you can do benches, like they have the, you know, the so I'm rolling this, and you can see like butter was, it. look at the butter that came out of this. It's so good. Oh wow. Yeah. So I'm rolling this so it's easier for me to, to assemble it on my uh, pie plate. And then just roll it out. And so you're gonna wanna make sure you tuck some in there and make sure it's, get it all in the pie plate and get it formed. It just makes things a whole lot easier. Is it pretty evenly? Yeah, or you can do it like in a, you can fold it and then put it in there and that'll work. So with this, I am just going to, you can cut this with a knife. I I choose to do that, like well, if you want to do that, but you would have to just do it on the outside, see? Or just cut it with a knife, however you want to do it. You're going to make your crust and pleat it. I'm going to stick this back in the fridge for five minutes to chill while I roll out my top crust. What is the uh, cooler temperature help it in any way? It's just going to help the butter, just if any butter melt it a little bit it's gonna bring it all back together nice and, and you want some cold butter when you stick it in the oven and I wanted to mention guys when you're making pastry dough you want that you want everything to be cold you want your water to be cold you want your butter especially your butter you want your butter to be cold um, it just, you don't want that butter to melt. Because then you don't get a, a nice crust. So I just poke some holes in it. Just a little bit, not too many. This is after it's the After I put, I put, I let it cool for another five minutes. I just put it back in the freezer for a little bit. Just so when this bakes, it doesn't puff up in the middle, so it sort of bakes evenly. You can bake this before you add this, but I am going to do this, and then when I add my top crust, I'm just going to get the edges with a little bit of foil so it doesn't burn, because they will cook faster. So I'm going to add our filling. It's, pro it's probably not gonna, the filling, it's probably not going to take all of it, but we're gonna try to get it all in there, but it might take it all. If not, well then you just have some for chicken and gravy tomorrow for lunch or something. I think that's I think it's to take it all. It's going to be good. Putting it all in there. Don't leave anything behind. Get it all in there. Excess crust away. You want to, or the pastry dough. You want to keep that. You can just freeze it. And you can use some. You have it for another night. that on top I'm going to create a vent, I'm actually going to cut a little slit, I'm just going to cover that because I don't want that 
sort of rip, but it's all right. We're, it's gonna be good. Just gonna whisk this heavy cream in the egg yolk. brush just brush the top pastry just lightly don't do it heavy-handed and rip the, the pastry what does this add to it so this is just gonna make it nice and golden brown as a little would you do that on a pie as well you can do that as a, on the pie yeah edges of this crust because this crust will bake a whole lot faster. Well, it'll, you don't want the, your pleats to get all burnt. Now, and I'll take it off like towards the last 10 minutes, five minutes, I will take the tin foil off. It just bakes faster than that. And does it give it that nice flaky crunch? Yeah, well the, the butter does. Do that egg wash just on the, uh, if you were doing some pie, you could do it on the very edges. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could do it on the edges. This is going to be good, man. Oh, it was amazing, man. I, I just wanted to try something because I was like, you know what, let me just try a little bit of whiskey and, and orange zest in there, see? And I gave it to a friend of mine. He loved it. His favorite is, is pecan pie. I'm going to use if you you can use your knife or you know use your bench scraper and just make a little vent um, on top of the. Just a little vent, not too big. So we will bake this at 350 for about 25 to 30 minutes. And towards the last five minutes of the baking time, I will remove the tint foil so that the my little outer the crust can actually get a nice um, golden brown to it. So we will be back in 30 minutes. Check in a little bit. Well, there goes to Paul's clean oven. You want to, <laughs> <laughs> you want to catch it? <laughs> All right, guys, we are taking this pot pie out. That looks good. Well, there you have it guys. This is um, chicken pot pie. It's going to be fabulous. It smells good. So what do you think about the pot pie, DT? Oh, it's incredible. Um, the flavor of crust is uh, phenomenal. It's done really, really well. It did a fantastic job and everything is so creamy. Um, it's so rich in flavor. The chicken is perfect. Um, and everything is just